Hi everybody, uh, Emmanuel here from Majesty's House of Music. So today I'm going to do you a song, a hymn. Uh, I'll use the Swahili language for all that you have done. That's the English version of it. I'll be using the Swahili version called Kwayote Uliotenda. My friends in Tanzania, Kenya, East Africa will be more familiar with this, but I know it's a hymn which is sung all over the world and you'll be able to follow along the chords and the movements. So all my friends from Africa, from Europe, from America, You'll be able to follow along the chords and the movements. I'm in the key of C today. The key of C major. And if you want to learn the key of C in detail, as usual, I have full-length video courses that I've designed for you students who want to learn beyond my free lessons on YouTube. So if you want to get deeper into the key of C, you'll check in the description area below this video, you'll find a link to my website. And my contacts, if you want to learn the key of C in detail, you can order the full key C course. We have two courses, an intermediate course and an advanced course. So you'll, you, you, you'll be able to get in touch with us and gauge your level and get a course that will help you learn this key in detail. So I'm going to play the song and then I'll break down the course that I'll be using for your understanding, okay? Quiet. The second stance of this song. Okay. Anipai. I'm using are not very complicated chords. Uh, I'll be able to explain step by step and you'll be able to get the movements that I'm playing. So the progression of the song uh, is simply this one. Quiet. Chord number one, C major or C major seventh. So on my left I have C, G and E and on my right I have G, B, C, and E. But remember, you can just leave out the C and play G, B, and E. Quiet. 
quiete. Okay? C G E on the left, G B E on the right. Quiete. And then our next chord is a two chord. Okay? Normally in the key of C, chord number two on the number system is a D minor seventh chord. Right? But this time I'm going to play a G dominant seventh chord for my two. G B D F. That will be my two with a D on the left. So, quiote, aliotenda. Then we are, we are now going to the three. What is our three chord? It's usually E minor seventh. But this time I'll use a one over three. So that means I'm playing a C major on my right hand with the E on the left, okay? So my C major is C, E, G, but I like adding the ninth, which is a D. You can just play a C sus too. Okay? So, quiote, ali. And then the next part, Sita Cha. What's the chord? F major. Chord number four in the key of C. F, C, F on the left. And on the right, I have an F major chord inverted. That is A, C, F. Sita Cha. And then you play a one over five, which is C major on the right. I'm using this inversion of C major. G, C, E. And on the left, I have G with a D. Then I throw in an interesting chord here. So, So what chord is this? Okay. Bring down the E here, and you realize you're playing an E suspended two chord, but inverted, okay? F sharp, B, E. So it's just a passing chord, okay? From that C, so you just move the G to the F sharp and, okay? And the C to the B. Then you land on your two chord, which is D minor inverted, okay? So, Sita Cha Kum Si Fu. Then you land on your C major, and I'm playing this inversion E, G, and C. Now, the concept I'm talking about here, I cover them in greater detail in my full length courses, right? So, I encourage uh, all of you to order the full length courses in the key of C. So, let me play it from the beginning. Quiote, aliote, sita cha, kum sifu, and then ne mayake. You can just use this uh, four over five chord for that turn around when you're going back to the second line. So I'm just playing an F at nine chord, F, G, S, C, with a G and D on the left. Nemayake. Sorry, Nemayake. Then you go back to the C, and the progression is the same for both lines. Nemayake. Many torture. Sita. Now, that's the stance of the song. So let me put everything together, okay? Slowly. Quiet. Ali. Tena. Sita. Cha. Kusifu. Nehemayake. Imne. Okay, 
as a stanza. Let's move on to the chorus. Sita hacha kum sifu mokozi mokozi. Okay. Okay. So uh, at this point, let me give you the basic, <laughs> the basic flow faster huh? before we begin throwing in a lot of things. Huh? Um, Sita. So what are we playing there? We're playing the one chord, which is the C major. C major. Then to the four, which is F major. And remember, the F major, you can play it as F major seven, okay? C, E, F, A. And on the left, I have F, C, and A. If you can't do this extension, just play F, C, and F, okay? With F major on the right on, F major seven. Now, let me give you an idea about uh, playing this major seventh chords. When you're playing an, a major seventh chord, for example, F major seventh, we have F, C, and A on the left. When you play this uh, F major seventh on the right, you uh, try avoiding this, what we call a chord tension. Yeah, that, those notes are too close. That's why we leave out the F, okay? In the F major seventh, that's the original F major seventh, F, S, C, E. So this is an inversion. Leave out the F because you already you have already covered that F on the left. Okay. So the chord sounds more open and you know has more space than this. Okay. Has a more open voice. Okay. It's, it's a rootless chord. Okay. A rootless chord means a chord without the root. So the root of F major 7th is the F. So we are playing that chord without the F. So it's a rootless chord. Simple. Okay? So, Sita, so, Sita, Acha, Kum, Sifu. Just go back to that C major. Then you play another inversion of C major or our C at 9th. So, Sita, And then the next part. So you are just playing an A minor inverted C E A. Okay, A minor, A minor. Okay. For those of you who are not familiar with my resources, I have a free piano chord chart. Free. I'll put the link below in the description. Download that chord chart. It has it has a um, pictures or photos of all these chords that you need in music, the, the, the most important chords you need to play, okay? So download that chord chart so that you'll be able to follow along with the chords that I'm playing here. So this is an A minor, A minor, okay? So from that A minor to the C at nine with a G on the left. Then we play this B flat major with a G on the left, G and D. So let me play the whole of it. Okay. And then the next part. We playing there, we're going back to the one C, but this time we play a C dominant seventh chord. C E G is your C major. If you add the B flat, you get C dominant seven. Okay, so that's our chord with our C on the left. C back to F major. Same progression. And then the next part changes. Ali M Kombozi. Ali M Kombozi. Okay. Okay. What chord is this? F minor inverted. Okay. F G sharp C. That's F minor. If you want to invert this chord, you play G sharp C F with G sharp on the left. Then you land on your C major. 
the G on the left, and then our our passing chord E sus two. Then you land on your D minor. Finish on the C. So then the next part. C Play the whole chorus. Sita. So uh, we we'll start on the C. Sita, acha, bon, sif, okozi, okozi. Sita, acha, bon, Basically the whole song, okay? Now, when you're starting off the chorus, instead of just playing, um, from that C major to the F major, okay? Okay? You can do this, huh? See this? Okay, or this. What chord is this? It's just a C dominant seven. Instead of starting with the C major, you can start with this C dominant seven. Okay. Look at my left hand. So why? Because a dominant seventh chord. Okay, the one. The C dominant seventh chord usually resolves or moves, usually naturally wants to resolve to a four, which is the F major. Okay, so anytime I'm moving from C major to F major, most of the time I'll use that C dominant seventh chord because I know it's taking me to the four, and then I can move down and down. Okay, so you can do that uh, movement. Okay. Oh. I actually like this inversion. Okay, so. You can still do the same thing. Now, I know I've given you a number of tricks, and the thing I encourage you is that use these tricks when you are playing any song. Don't limit the movements I'm giving you and the voicings I'm giving you to this song. You can always borrow these concepts to any other key or any other song. So for those of you who are playing uh, in different keys, maybe in F sharp, um, in G, in F, okay, in C sharp, For example, that is in C, then you have G sharp. You can translate the same movements and ideas to any other key. And for the keys that I have mentioned, we also have courses for those keys. So if you are specializing in F sharp, or C sharp, or G sharp, or G, or C, you also have courses that can help you in mastering those keys. For those of you playing key D, we have done a full free series in the key of D. If you check my videos uh, on the playlist, you'll find a playlist for key D. So for those of you who are in key D, we don't have a course for key D, but we have done a free series. 
here on YouTube in the key of D, okay? So we have done a free uh, series. So if you go on the playlists, look for the playlist of Key D, you'll see all the videos in Key D that we have done. So I hope you enjoyed that class. As I said, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Like this video if you like it. In that way, you help us to promote our channel. Subscribe if you have not done so. And share. Okay, just hit the share button and tell somebody about us. And the Lord will bless you. See you uh, in the next class.